ericmoavithmother.com. Let's take a look at a stock that has done well over the last two weeks as an IPO, TWLO. You can see here two straight nice positive gains for the week going back to the IPO from last week. And keep in mind around this period, the markets have been relatively down. So nice performance, but we can see that there's no entry as far as the technicals are concerned. We don't have fully developed charts, of course, after two weeks of trading, not enough data to generate the RSI or the MACD. We go to the daily to see whether there's any type of technical indicator that we could use and it's not fully developed. And so for an IPO, we might be forced to go to the smaller time frame. And you can see here that we have now the development of the MACDs and the RSIs. And important to note here that the RSI is beginning to trade here at above 69.1. I'll come back to that in a second. The MACDs have also been trading, trading well, above zero. And also, we see here that one of the MACDs, the main MACD, is already trading at all-time highs. So now, I did notice here, if I go to the 30-minute chart, in trying to f figure out where this movement began, we can see that on the 30-minute chart, there was this breakout. Let's call it somewhere here at about $28. And this did correspond to the ultimate Moade breakout, where we see that the RSI pushed all-time highs which is a good indication of momentum and the MACDs were also trading at all-time highs so that breakout was the most recent breakout from a timing perspective on the hourly chart in other words because we don't have fully developed weekly charts so the weekly charts not fully developed daily charts not fully developed hourly charts a little bit on the suspect side so we can say if we so 30 minute chart did give us a recent buy point. In fact, if we go to the five minute chart, I'll show you that for an IPO, you might be forced to go to the smaller time frame. This is a perfect example because we can see here, this breakout here at about $26 was the first breakout on a five minute chart. Broke out there from 26, has never closed below that since then. So that was the most recent best timing in terms of an ideal entry if we go and figure out what the charts looked like at the time we can see that that corresponded with price breakout rsi moving to to all-time highs which is the minimum requirement being met and both macd's also moved to all-time highs so we can see there that the ultimate more the breakout was met during the first and initial breakout for the stock so for an ipo when you don't have fully developed charts you need to go to the smaller time frame I said I was gonna go back to that hourly charts and what you can do here is because right now we have the technicals trading well RSI at above 69.1 and the MACDs are trading at all-time highs as we mentioned we can still watch this in case there's more upside and the hourly charts gives us an opportunity now because we've had an hourly close right here and so what we can do is wait for the next potential breakout if it happens at any movement above 35.21 which happens to be this hourly close so if you want to trade this best thing to do would be to wait for an explosion if it comes above this recent hourly closing high a breakout is what you want to see for momentum the most recent breakout for those who trade short term was during this breakout here as you can see so the best thing if you are if you are searching for momentum is to wait for this to move to fresh prices or fresh highs by moving above the most recent hourly closing high that's one way to approach momentum for an IPO you are always forced to go to the smaller time frame and go to the time frame that has fully developed technical indicators like the RSI and the MACD trade that time frame if you want to look for entry opportunities. Eric Moadith, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-R-C-S. Mwah.